Hi, we're at Indo-Pacific 2025 in Sydney, Australia. We are now on the large Navantia Australia booth. The shipbuilder is uh, showcasing for the first time what they call the Smart LPD. I understand it's a conceptual ship, very interesting looking, very futuristic looking. And to find out all about it, we are meeting with uh, Luke Baxter. He's a mechanical engineer at Navantia Australia. Luke, good afternoon. Great to meet you. Good afternoon. Likewise. How are you? So what, uh, what drove the, this concept of uh, Smart LPD? Yeah, so this is a, it's obviously a concept design, but it was based on a, the Spanish LPD, the Galicia class. Um, that's how it started out. And we've taken that hull form and that platform, and we've extended that, and we've modernized it. And so the top side's been replaced. Um, with the additional length, we had space, we put in electric propulsion. Um, so the diesel engines have been exchanged for diesel generators uh, and then we have that full electric architecture which allows a much more flexible use of the power generation on board. It's also a kind of a dual role so it's an amphibious uh, operations platform primarily but it's also a, an unmanned systems command and control vessel um, intended to work as a mothership for a, a host of uh, UAVs, UUVs, uncrewed surface vessels. Um, and so accommodations have been made within the design to facilitate those operations and you know, for, the, for the operators in there, there are spaces dedicated to command and control of offboard systems. Uh, can you share the, some of the main specifications of the design? Yeah, so it's been lengthened from the, the LPD and the previous JSS design as well. So that's, it's now 200 metres. Um, it's a 20,000 tonne vessel, so it's quite heavy. Um, the top speed of 23 knots uh, and it takes or it's designed for a core crew of 170 personnel but accommodates up to 530. Uh, would you say that one of the, the, the role of the design too is to potentially pitch a replacement for the in-service uh, HMAS, HMAS uh, shoals here in Australia? It could perform that role. Um, it's, as I mentioned, it's a concept design, so there's room for this to evolve. Um, it's marketed as part of our global portfolio, so it's not intended for any specific role or gap in any Navy, but um, that's definitely an avenue that it, that it could fill. All right. Thank you very much. No worries. Thank you.